Chief Centers of God, RCCG has invited the presidential candidates of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Shiwore, and other Nigerian presidential candidates for the 2023 general elections to a youth political summit. Hmm. The RCC Di Directorate of Politics and Governance, Region 10, Abuja, and the SCT Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, disclosed this in an invitation sent to the candidates and obtained by Sahar reporters on Friday. Other presidential candidates expected at the events included Bola Tinumbu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Rabi Okwakwansu, the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, and the Labour Party's Peter B. They were all expected to speak on building a Nigeria with youth as catalyst for industrial revolution. The statement read, the RCCG Directorate of Policies and Governance, Region 10, Abuja, in collaboration with the LCT Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, invite the distinguished presence of all presidential candidates for the February 2023 general elections for the Abuja Youth Political Summit. Team, building a Nigeria with youth as catalyst for industrial revolution, slated for date 21st of January 2023. Time is 1 p.m. Venue RCCG, the Live Center, 27 IBM Harana Crescent, Itaku, Abuja, to discuss the future of the Nigerian youth and a place in the next administration should any candidate be elected president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria in the February 2023 general elections. We hope to get a rapid response to our request and invitation. Be sure assured of our best regards. Mm -hmm. Fourth finders. Mm. I'm sure these people too they are going to be against a Tinumbu as well because many people have been saying he's not going to go he's not going to be there he has his own way of doing his own his own thing apc will not have his presidential candidates attended the dates always afraid of competition yeah this is a welcome development any candidate that refuses to come should not be voted for at least if you can't go to the ones organized by the tv station you should go to this one because it's organized by christians and you need their votes please let's move him to organize something like this and let's scrutinize all our presidential candidates to know how they or what they have for us as a nation thanks for what you just said nobody will sit in umbo and bushetima boku shetima they will be guilty and always afraid mm. let's see the this one Let's see the excuse Kayamu and the rest will be given. Now you are talking. Hope nobody is expecting Tinubu and his Boko Aram leader Shetima Day. They will not come. I'm ready to be to bet my car on this. Ah, we'll go see that. Uh, yeah, let me see if that happen. Uh. Please, what brand is the car and which year? Uh, it's important. It's important. It is the body that represents Christians in Nigeria. It has every right to do so because whoever becomes president will rule over Christians too. I hope the organizer will not rubbish the church with this program. RCCG is now political office. If Tinubu comes, skis will show. With this move, hmm, and I want Tinubu uh, to sit on top of the one. I strongly believe, I strongly believe. Tinubu Jagaba will not be present. Whatever you do, he's not going to be there. He is fake. Only Obi Shiwe and Atiku go show up. You won't make Tinubu go completely submit in political career for summit via uncountable gap. Kiyamu and Femi Halekarade will send robots to represent Tinubu. If you like, write it will be as number. 20. That day, everybody I go clear. Whoever God has ordained can't be changed. Hmm. Wow. I've never seen somebody who is afraid. What are you afraid of? Hmm. Even this man, 
plus uh, so executive article. At least he has attended uh, two or three, two or three, what is it called? Debates with other people, even if he does not attend all of Of course, we know that it's not all the, all the invitations that are going to be accepted. Because for you to say, kaka kaka, I have my way of doing things. It's not going to be the way you want it. Want it. Hmm. I can't, I can't, I can't mingle with them. That is, you, you know, it's just implicating himself the more, whether it's a sign of pride or something is, the something is, something is hiding or his team are hiding. Of course, you can see, even with what they have been organizing themselves, you could see through the reason why this man is not even confident to mingle with uh, his other colleagues. We can see. <laughs> It is, it is evidence. You can see. Mm. Just believe that uh, it will go. It will disappoint uh, the P6. It will disappoint uh, because they always call anybody who is who is not aligning with their own thoughts is an enemy. So he's going to disappoint the enemies by going. Somebody who is trying to pay, bet with his car. And someone said, before we can say we want to bet with his car, we need to know the brand and the model of that car and the year. So, so that nobody will not go on. Huh. If Tinubu disappoints you eh, by going or showing up, that your car eh, is to be taken. But that's on a lighter note anyway. But unfortunately, a lot of people are used to the evil, you know, the, the crooked way of doing things. I'm even surprised. This man came out and was saying something about eh, what Lagos has done, what Lagos has not done. The president area. Eh, Governorship candidates of a People's Democratic Party, Jando. And people are seeing that these things that this guy is saying is the truth because they are used to this uh, lawlessness and you know, woo woo way of doing things. They came for him. That who are you to talk about Lagos, this and that? All the evidence are there for us to see. And some people will see their head in the Kulu, they, they tell us with the, we talk about uh, the, 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 what is it called, the fake statements. Tinubu was accusing Obi of a wrong statistic. He came out and told us the IGR that he moved from one point to another. He was telling us that. And the CBN record shows that, that it is not true. And the fact, the fact came out and said it. And they are telling us that we are the one bringing a fake news. Somebody was saying that since 2014. And I asked, 2014, this channel was not even in existence since 2014. So why are you telling us that since 2014 that we'll be talking about it? Tinubu that is not doing the right thing? You know? You can see that kind of people. Nobody should even pity, pity anybody. Anything you see for this country, you carry. <laughs> Unfortunately, those who want the betterment of this country, they are crying every day, yearning every day, yearning for good governance. But some people who you are even thinking that uh, they should be able to use their head, they are saying no because of well, lack of knowledge, lack of deep thinking. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let us have your take.